Hi everyone, welcome to Wedra Studio. Today, we are going to talk about silicon. So now let's get straight to it. Silicon is a group 14 element in the periodic table. With an atomic number of 14, a typical silicon atom has 14 protons, 14 electrons, and 14 neutrons. Silicon is a hard crystalline solid with a blue-gray metallic luster. Despite its metal-like appearance, silicon belongs to the metalloid family. It is brittle and easily shattered when struck. The name silicon is derived from the Latin word silex or silicis, which means flint or hard stone. This is because it is commonly found in many hard materials like quartz and flint. Did you know that natural silicon-based materials have been owned since ancient times? Silicon rock crystals were used by ancient Egyptians and Chinese for beads and small bases. Glass containing silica was made by the Egyptians at least as early as 1500 BC, before Common Era, as well as by the ancient Phoenicians. Silicon is the second most abundant element in the Earth's crust, making up about 27.7% of the Earth's crust by mass, after oxygen. Commonly found in the form of oxides instead of free state, silicon is one of the major components of various minerals and rocks, such as clay, granite, quartz and sand. Despite its prevalence in the Earth's crust, silicon in its pure form was not attained until the 19th century. It was first isolated and described as an element in 1824 by Johns Jacob Berzelius, a Swedish chemist. Silicon has a relatively high melting point and boiling point of 1,414 degrees Celsius and 3,265 degrees Celsius respectively. It is the second highest among all the metalloids and nonmetals, after boron. At room temperature, silicon is relatively inactive. It forms a protective oxide layer, silicon dioxide, on its surface, preventing further reaction with oxygen. At higher temperatures, it reacts with halogens and sulfur to form compounds. It also forms covalent bonds with other nonmetals. Silicon is a semiconductor. It has intermediate electrical conductivity between a conductor and an insulator. This property makes silicon crucial in the electronics industry. Silicon can exist in both crystalline and amorphous, non-crystalline forms. Both are used to create solar cells, but the crystalline form is more commonly used due to its higher efficiency. Did you know that a silicon disk slightly bigger than a silver dollar was left on the moon in 1969 by the Apollo 11 astronauts? Those are goodwill messages from leaders of 73 countries around the world. Silicon Valley gets its name from the silicon used to make electronic chips. The very first company was Hewlett Packard, HP, founded in 1939 by two Stanford engineers in a Palo Alto garage. Silicon is found in trace amounts in the human body. It is believed by researchers to play a role in maintaining healthy bones, connective tissues, and skin. Plants use silicon to strengthen their cell walls. It also protects them from insect attack, disease, and environmental stress. Silicon carbide is almost as hard as a diamond. It ranks a 9 to 9.5 on the Mohs hardness scale, slightly less than diamond, which has a hardness of 10. Besides semiconductor and solar panel production, silicon is used to create silicone, a man-made silicon oxygen polymers with methyl groups attached. Silicones are valued for their durability and resistance to extreme weather conditions. They are used in construction for sealing joints and waterproofing structures. In the medical industry, silicone is used in certain implants, catheters, contact lenses, and bandages for better stability. As it resists heat well, it is also used to make kitchen tools such as baking sheets and oven mitts. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.